Hello mga atisis kung Andre, this is Andrian. It's not Andrea, it's not Andriana, it's not Adriana, definitely not Adrian. And welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today, ito yung pinakauna kong video na magtatagalog ako. Like, lahat ng sasabihin ko, almost everything is Tagalog. So, Taglish, ganyan. Kasi ang dami nagre-reklamo mga sis natin na magtagalog na lang daw ako. Okay, eto na. Your wish is my command. Ako mga sis, sana... Kinakayan nyo pa yung lockdown na yan. It's been uh, like three weeks na ato. Mag isang buwan na tayong naka-lockdown. Nakakaloka. Pero, nako ah, tiisin nyo yan. Kung muna kayong lumabas, huwag muna kayong mag-inom. Kahit may quarantine pa, so kayong lumabas ng gabi. just ko, mahirap na mag-trending. Okay, sana kung mag-trending kang maganda eh, ba? Diba? Pero kung trending kang may mag siya. Charak! Charak! Oh my God. Ayan, huwag tayo masyadong pasaway, okay? So, ang video today, kasi ang daming nagtatanong sa akin na saan ko daw na meet yung mga naging boyfriend ko or yung current boyfriend ko ngayon, saan ko ba daw na meet? So, today, I am going to share some ideas and, you know, my pointers of where and how to meet an fan. For those who are asking, um, yung aking awkward na damit is um, from Forever 21. Sarado sila ngayon. Actually, pasala na sila ng tulog. <laughs> A couple of years ago, if you follow me on my social media, alam nyo naman na I dated a Filipino guy, a local guy, for like four years or so. It was a great relationship. Masaya ako. Sobrang saya ako. Alam mo yun? Um, and then, legal kami sa pamilya ko. But then, sa pamilya niya, hindi talaga kami naging legal. Tin ako, tinakwil ako ng pamilya niya. Sinabihin ako na masasakit ng salita. But this is not to bad mouth them. The point of that is, you know, kahit gano'n na kayo katagal, you will not end up getting married. Walang same-sex marriage sa, sa Philippines. At mahaba-haba pang adventure at laban ang gagawin natin for us to be able to achieve, you know, same-sex marriage. That's when I realized and that's when I started to think na bakit hindi ako magjowa ng foreigner? Kasi when I date, I date to marry. You know, kapag if I'm with someone, I always dream of marrying that person I'm dating. I can only achieve that by marrying a foreigner kung saan siya nakatira legal ang same-sex marriage. So, itong video na to, hindi ito kontra sa mga tao na hindi naniniwala sa kasal para patunayan yung pagmamahal nila sa partner nila. But then, this video is dedicated for people na gustong mag-date ng afam. Pero sabi natin sila mahanap. Sabi natin sila mahanap. Paano ba natin sila mahanap? How do we keep them? Keep watching this video. Let's go. Okay. Mga ate sis, if your objective is to date an afam, para umahon sa buhay, para perahan yung afam, para makuha nyo lahat ng mga material na bagay na gusto nyo. This is not the right video. Hindi ito tutorial for that. So, men is not a source of income, mga atisis. Men is supposed to be your partner, your confidant, panghabang buhay, para may kasama tayo, tumanda. Para may partner tayo, ganun yun. Mas maganda kung mahal mo talaga yung isang tao kaysa pinaperahan mo lang siya. Pwede rin namang both. Tara! Sis, if you're looking for an afam, make sure that you are not committed to someone else. You're single. Well, you can be kasal, but then separated or anything like that. Pwede naman yon. Dapat ready ka for long distance relationship. Dapat open-minded ka. Kasi kung hindi, this type of relationship is not for you. Where can we find an afam? Mm, afam tayo ng afam, pero hindi natin alam ibig sabihin ng afam. Diba? Yan, puro tayo ganyan eh. Pero hindi natin alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng mga sinasabi natin. Afam means a foreigner assigned in Manila. Hmm. Shala, diba? Ah, pati naman ako ng a foreigner assigned in Manila mo sa squa pa ba? Ganyan. If you use it in a sentence. Ganyan na ganyan yan. Alam mo, medyo awkward talaga mag-Tagalog sa video. Like, I feel like, tara! 
number one, kung saan tayo makakanap ng afam. Alam mo nyo naman, of course, the internet. Social media, alam nyo na, nila mo na tayo ng sistema ng internet. So, if you're not on the internet, you don't exist. So, that is the easiest way to find an afam. Social media. It's the easiest way to communicate to anyone, anywhere around the globe. And the service of the Filipino. Tara! Puno sa lahat sa Facebook. Okay. Sa Facebook, dyan maraming afam. Siyempre, almost everyone is using Facebook. Sino bang walang Facebook ngayon? Diba? Best advice ko to find an afam on Facebook is to do a networking. To expand your network. Hindi ito yung power, ah. Hindi ito yung power. Hindi ito yung open-minded ka ba? Kapitaya. Hindi yun yun, ha? Pag sinabi ko expand your network or networking, it means that you're going to start adding people na nakatira sa ibang bansa, mga foreigners, ganyan. Pag naging friend mo na yung foreigner, lalabas na yung um, suggestion, yung profile mo as suggestion sa ibang bansa din. So, you know, your algorithm, yung algorithm ng Facebook nyo, magsasama na yan. And that's when you become visible to afams. At syempre, yung mga afam becomes visible sa news feeds mo. That's how it works. Syempre. Pag inad mo, you can start talking to that guy. Yeah, so that's when you can start building um, online friendship with somebody. May mga alam akong success stories dyan sa Facebook. That's how you hunt afam individually. Medyo mahirap yan. Pero, if you want talagang malunod sa mga maraming afam, if you really want, like, maghanap ng afam ng malala, I can definitely suggest some Facebook group dedicated for dating. Mm, maybe transgender um, dating groups or straight men and women dating group. I can definitely suggest groups for you. I am putting link down below para makapag-join na kayo. Out of this, yes? Okay, my second suggestion where to find an afam is dating websites. Websites that are really dedicated for dating. At, this is not a paid video, it's not a paid advertisement, but there is one website for transgender women that I can definitely recommend since I've used it before and I've met decent men on that website. It's called myladyboydate.com. Yeah. It's a very, very good website. I, I've used it before. What I like about this website is that they promote a very safe and good um, dating environment for transgender women and for men. The moderators, yung mga admin, napaka hands on nila. I know them, the tung mga moderators, tung founder ng uh, website na to, is, uh, you know, they're partners, a transgender woman and a man. So, really, really good website. MyLadyBoyDate.com. Pero siyempre, you just don't join a website. That's not how you do it, diba? I'm going to give you a number of tips. Kailangan na lalaban yung ano mo, atesis yung profile mo. So, I'm going to give you tips on how to be more attractive online. My first tip, sis, kung mag-upload ka man ng picture, huwag naman yung ano, may filter ng aso na Snapchat. Huwag naman yung ano, may bulaklak sa ulo, ganyan. Parang nabubura na yung ilong mo, ganyan. Huwag naman ganun, atesis. Siyempre, we have to set proper expectations. Yan, syempre, di ba? Para pag namit ka na, tas yung itsura mo, iba. Yan, ate sis, catfish ka. So, you have to be very careful in uploading your photos. Syempre, you have to upload a photo of your face, yung body mo, and alam mo, minsan maganda rin mag-upload ng medyo. Siya a little bit of skin. Hindi siya sa pilitan, but then... Alam mo yun, syempre, kailangan may onting piece. Alam mo naman ang mga lalaki, di ba? Sometimes, kala mo naman kung sino. She goes agad. Tara! So, a little bit of skin, like a photo of you wearing swimsuit. Tsaka, syempre, sa dating website, parang binibenta mo yung sarili mo dyan eh, di ba? 
matindi yung labanan dyan. May yung literal na binibent. It's not literally selling yourself. Like, Oh, ista kayo dyan. Murang-mura. Sariwa. You know, but then, syempre, marami tayong kalaban dyan. Para naman bibisitahin yung profile natin kung mukha tayong aso. May filter tayo ng Snapchat na aso. Ganyan. So, start with writing a brief description of yourself sa profile mo. At, syempre, kailangan catchy. Short but catchy. Alam mo yan. Huwag tayong Huwag tayong, ano, huwag tayong masyadong, Hi, I'm 20 years old, living in Manila, and all that. That's, girl, hindi na uso yun. Dapat, kunwari, ano yun? Not kunwari, but, <laughs> dapat ano tayo, palaban dapat. May example ako. I'm a type of a woman who loves to look after her man. I like a man who is not afraid to talk about his future plans with me, and that eventually, he would consider me as his confidence and motivation. Kanya, kanya lang mga atesis, mga ganon. Kunwari matalino tayo, ano mo yun. Siyempre, sa panahon ngayon, di ba? Mga one-liner, mas catchy kapag mas maikli, tsaka mas specific. Be very specific when it comes to your age, don't lie about your age, and don't lie about your gender. Okay? Don't lie about anything. Okay lang naman na meron kang mga information na puputektahan sa sarili mo. But then, protecting some information and lying, that's different. Okay? Alam mo yun, paano pag naging magjawa na kayo and time will come na nagsinungaling ka pala and you will find out eventually. So, mas mahirap yun, di ba? Okay, another ways to find an fam is on dating apps, location-based apps. I would be very honest with you, mga at this is okay dating apps like tinder bumble there is a very low chance na makahanap ka ng afam na makakadate mo ng seryoso dyan sa website na yan it's like 1 out of 30 guys are looking for a serious relationship on that application most of afams that are on for example tinder if they're here in manila most of them are actually just on a holiday. Nagbabakasyon lang yung mga yan. They're not looking for a serious relationship. Gusto lang nila one night stand. So be very careful. Okay? And you also need to specify on your profile if you're looking for a long-term relationship. Put it there. Men naman, hindi yan magsaswipe lang na magsaswipe. If you have specified na you're looking for a long-term relationship. So you will not match naman if you're not looking for a hookup. Kasi most guys talaga are looking for hookups. That's a very sad reality. That's the community that, um, you know, people who use uh, Tinder have established. It's really sad. But then I met my boyfriend on Tinder. My current boyfriend. And, uh, right now, I met him on Tinder. Mm. But mga sis, I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of matches. Na gusto lang din ng one night stand. They just want to sleep with me. Bago ko mamit tong current boyfriend ko. So, it's a very, very small chance talaga na makahanap ka ng magmamahal sa'yo sa tender. But yeah, that's the reality. But then, sa tender, marami din dyang expats. Pag sinabi natin expats, mga foreigner yan na nag-work dito sa Philippines. Mga, um, ano nga ba tong term na to? Kalimutan ko na. My gosh. Nomad. Nomad. My God, I feel so smart. Digital nomads. And I mean, they can travel around the world or sometimes they stay in the Philippines because it's really cheap here. They stay here. Dito sila nakatira ng mas matagal para magtrabaho. Nasa Tinder din niya mga yan. At they're looking for Filipino women na i-date nila. Dahil jackpot ka talaga, dahil pag ano yan, dahil. Speaking of expats, ito na tayo. And setting aside the digital world, saan ba tayo makakanap ng afam? In person. Ang dami kong friends. Joa ng afam. Alam mo kung saan gumigimik. Ito sa Manila yan, ha? Metro Manila. Makati, BGC, ganyan. Hanap na lang yung afam nila doon. Iba, 
may anak na sila, yan, may mga anak, mga half a farm, half pino yung anak nila, my god, ang gaganda ng lahi. Siyempre, I am no, also I know transgender women na dating expats here and now they're already, you know, they were brought to the countries. Napakaswerte nila. That's also my goal. I wanna, I wanna be with someone I love and I wanna know kung saan siya nagmula, kung paano siya lumaki. Paano siya lumaki? Chat. Ibang level na yun mga sister. So, siyempre, napakinapakin if that happens. But siyempre, you have to go through a process bago mangyari yun. Going back to mga expat. Yan. Dito sa Manila, balita ako. Marami daw expat dito sa BGC. Tsaka sa Makati. Mahal kong Makati. Tandaan nyo na yung mga pang party dress nyo mga sis. Magre-revel tayo. Tsaka island. Mga ganyan, syempre. Lalapan dapat. Palapan dapat, diba? Marami ding um, afam tsaka expat sa Cebu. Sa Mactan, sa Metro Cebu. Tsaka sa Davao City. At syempre, kung gusto mo naman ng sundalo. Ano na soldier? Sa Clark Pampanga, sa Zambales. Nako. Ang dami nung afam. Sabi ko sa'yo. Sundalo mga G.I. Joe. Love it. But then you have to be very careful again. If you can remember sa mga trans women kung ate sis kong android dyan ha na mga transgender women. Remember Jennifer Laude. Diba? There was a case about Jennifer Laude. Siyempre, yung afam niya nilagay siya sa maleta. Hindi natin alam ang tunay na story. Let's not do victim blaming or anything like that. Sumalangit na wa. Jennifer Laude. Mag-ingat tayo, okay? Pag umaura tayo, mag-ingat tayo lagi. Going back, syempre, pag makikipagkita ka sa afam, pag party sis, suot mo dapat. Taka, maganda dapat. Full pa kay makeup, ganyan. Pak, glam. Ganyan dahi. Pero syempre, pag mga dinner sa mga fancy restaurants, mga ganyan, o kaya mga pub, Iba ang club sa pub, ha? Pag mga pub lang or mga restaurants, coffee shop, yan. Shale? Dapat, sis, huwag naman yung parang ano, sis. Huwag naman yung parang pick-up girl. Huwag naman yung ganun. Wear a very decent and comfortable clothes. Make sure that appropriate yung mga damit natin, syempre. Minsan, kung ano yung suot natin, people are actually judging others by their looks. Make sure that what you wear is very appropriate to the place na pupuntahan ninyo. You know, it's not really easy to find an afam to date nowadays. Siyempre, yung iba nga nating mga atheists, di ba? They are single in a very long time. Kahit local boyfriends, hindi sila makahanap. You have to open your heart. You have to open your mind. Law of attraction. If you manifest something, what you want... Whatever you want, if gusto mo talaga yun, if you can imagine it, believe me, mangyayari yun, makukuha mo yun. You just have to put action to it. Kailangan kumilos ka rin. Alam mo yun, while you are trying to manifest things, ni-imagine mo siya, trust me, it's a method that I've been using all the time. At gumagana siya, sis. When you want something, whatever vibes you're sending to the universe, the universe will conspire to give back the same energy and you'll be able to achieve what you want at makuha ang gusto mo sa'yo. Pag gusto mo ng afam. At this is... Magkaka-afam ka talaga rin. Just an advice, a piece of advice bago ko kayo iwanan at maghanap kayo ng afam dyan. In social media, on dating websites, mga afam dito sa Pinas, mga afam na nasa websites, napaka hikpit ng labanan dyan. Ano mo yan? Dahil ang mga lalaki sa websites na yan, they get too overwhelmed of the choices. Napaka naming choices eh. So it's like, may the best girl win. So make sure that you highlight all your good, you know, your good personalities, yung mga gandang bagay sa'yo, tungkol sa'yo. So, that's just, that's how it works. You know, hindi naman, hindi naman tayo magugustuhan ng afam just because, ano mo yan? 
Dahil, dahil maganda lang tayo. Pero syempre, ba diba, isa na yun. Kailangan din, syempre, manunong tayo makisama, alam natin yung sinasabi natin. We have to appear educated and understanding. Mga afam lang talaga, nang overwhelm sila sa choices. Sometimes, di nila alam, they have already met and found the diamond. But then, they're so overwhelmed with other glitters. It's not your loss. It's theirs. Pakadaming lalaki sa mundo. Okay? At syempre, one last thing is that you have to be very careful when dating. Huwag tayo agad nakikipagkita. You have to make sure safe kayo. Always take screenshot of the profile of the person at isend yun sa mga close friends nyo. If ever something happens and all that. Alam nyo yun, may photos. At syempre, sasabihin nyo kung saan kayo makikita for your safety. Syempre, if you are started talking and naging maganda na yung proseso ng date nyo, huwag kayo masyadong mabigla. Mga atesis. Ang mga afam, they grew up in a very liberated countries. Not all, but syempre, iba yung culture nila na kinalakihan. So sometimes they are very straightforward. Sometimes, sabihin nila kung anong gusto nilang sabihin. Sometimes, mararamdaman mo parang offensive yung mga sinasabi nila. Pero hindi. They're just very straightforward. They mean no offense. So, you just have to understand at maging open ka sa panibagong culture na papasukin mo. Siyempre, para mahanap mo yung ano. Dapat open ka para magkasya yung ducks. <laughs> para magkasya yung ducks na pagmamahal sa puso mo. Kailangan open yan. Okay. Siyempre, kapag nag-progress na yung relationship nyo, mm, bakit na mo kung paano magmahal ang Pinay? Alagang Pinay. At this is, go ahead. Malo kayo ng afam. Maura kayo. Good luck. Thank you for watching the video, mga atesis kong Android. Don't forget to subscribe, to like, to post your comments if you have suggestion ako pag-usapan natin yan sa comments if you have suggestion like websites and all that tulungan nyo ako tulungan natin yung mga iba nating mga atesis para makanap sila ng afam na jowa if you don't like this video thumbs down kayo okay lang yan okay pero gusto ko kapag tinumbs down nyo please sabihin nyo sa akin kung bakit ayaw nyo yung video para at least next time ma-improve natin at magustuhan nyo mga gagawin ko next time so, I'm very open to feedback, mga atesis. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Share nyo din sa mga atesis natin. Iba dyan na Android, okay?